Welcome to this Nox Medical tutorial on how to set up the Nox C1 access point. The following tutorial will show how the Nox C1 access point can be used in an online recording and how auxiliary device can be connected. The Nox C1 is shipped as a DHCP server with a fixed IP. The system settings can be changed within the Nox terminal software. Start by creating an online room. Navigate to Devices and Online Rooms. Click Add Room. Give the room a name. And select Add Devices. Your Nox C1 should be automatically discovered. Add the Nox C1 to the room. Select the Nox C1 and click Add to Room. To make any setting changes, select the Nox C1 and click Edit Device. Changes can be made within the Device pro Properties dialog. All network changes will be effective as soon as you have clicked Finish. The NOX C1 is now ready to be used as an access point. In order to use the auxiliary devices that can be connected to the NOX C1 using a serial port, the device needs to be added to the online room. Click Add Devices. Devices that are available to connect with the serial port are ResMed S9 and ResMed AirSense 10. The Syntec device, Radiometer and the Massimo Oximetry. All of those devices can be connected using a standard 3.5mm jack to 9-pin RS-232 connector. To add these devices, select a specific device from the device types list in the Add Device Manager and click Add. Let's take the Erasmus S9 as an example. Select the connection type as C1 serial port and choose which port you want to use. Click Next and then finish. Add the device to your room and connect the device physically to the selected port. The device is now ready to use. The use of the analog inputs on the NOX C1 device Allow the user to input various types of auxiliary devices that do not have built-in or external support, but do output analog signals. This section will go through how it is possible to set up sensor definitions and implement them to be used by the NOX C1 to record signals during an online recording. For most auxiliary devices that have analog outputs, follows a brochure with information that can be used to define how the input voltage is converted to a signal in an external. Example of this is information is shown here. Using the given information, perform the following steps. Start by navigating to devices and sensors Click New in the bottom left corner. Let's use this line from the example document.
I leave the function empty since the function will be calculated from the physical and voltage range. Click OK. The sensor is added to the list of new sensors under the category it was defined. The next step is to take the sensor and add it to a NOX C1 device profile. Click Close. Navigate to Devices and Device Profiles. Click New in the bottom left corner and select NOX C1 from the drop-down list. Give the device profile a name, add the description and click Next. Click Next. Here it is possible to select the sensor definition for the analog channels that we have just created. I click on the manufacturer name, which is the category that we created. And then here is the sensor that we created in the previous step. It's also possible to activate the channel, but then it will just record uh, the open signal from minus 5 to 5 volts. Click finish. Now we can start a new online recording. And we can see that the new NOX C1 device profile that we created is available for the NOX C1 device. The Resmet S9 connected to the serial port is also available in the room. So now we can start a new recording with those devices. For further information, visit our homepage www.noxmedical.com and navigate to the support site. Thank you.